It's Bonkers Part 8, starring Ludacris, Bananas, and Totes Redick. This is Stinker Madness with Fate of the Furious. What's that smell? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm thirsty as fuck. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty as fuck. Hey, look at me! Thrill me. If you come back in here, I'm going to hit you with so many rights, you're going to beg for a left. Thrill me. Big for that. Thrill me. Hey, look at me! No more hangers! It stinks. Hangers! Get to the Stinker man. Feet. Feet, man. You're my man. Feet. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Sneaker Madness. This is a podcast where we take a bad movie, uh, tear it apart, laugh at it, enjoy ourselves, and then talk about it on the internet, which is where you're listening to at on the internet. I am in it's the just internet. internet. The no, it's the internet, Jackie. It's just internet. No, it's the internet. The internet. The internet is the original title. Thy internet. Thy internet. Thy internet, Puma man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Justin. Sam and Jackie are here, as always. Hello, friends. Hello. How are you guys feeling uh, today? Friends. What? That's that's a little... Dude, don't be a dick. Come on, man. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh... and, and, and I should not be a dick. On the eighth day, the Lord said, thou shall not work, and don't be a dicketh. The eighth day? The eighth day, huh? Isn't that, uh... So I can be no, a dick today. No, he rests on the eighth day. I don't know. No, don't dude. It's seventh day, no. idiot. There's only I'm, seven days in a week. He also said on the eighth day, totally be an idiot. I command it. So here I am being an idiot on the eighth day. I think the eighth day was when he demanded the magic of Sasquatch on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fate of the Furious, starring, of course, Vin Diesel, The Rock, Jason Statham. Who else we got? Ludacris, Tyrese. Natalie Emmanuel. Who? Uh, the new uh, girl. Uh, Khaleesi's aide yeah, she's from hot. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, Charlize he- Theron. He- Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Dame Ale- Helen Mirren. Elisa Padake. Elsa Padake. I'm sorry, who's that? Elsa Padake. Uh, I'm sorry, what? She's the the uh, one from the movies before that has the boobs. Oh, oh, uh, uh, what's the Brazilian cop? Char- what's yeah. her character's name? Uh, what's like Amelia? Chesty L- Look McBoobs. <laughs> look McBoobs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Star started cast. It's got everybody in it except for, of course, the dearly missed Paul Walker. And what's her Rodriguez? Oh, Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle of course. Rodriguez. Yeah. yeah. She's fucking great. Always, always good to see. I want to start out with a question here. I sure. realized something while viewing this because we just recently watched Avalanche starring classic actors Mia Farrow and Rock Hudson who together have absolutely no chemistry. They've None. never even heard of the word. You watch this movie and I really believe that Dom and Letty are one of the best on-screen couple, screen couples of all time. Sure. They fucking love the shit out of each other. Why not? And yeah. it's clear. Oh, yeah. They those two worked really well together. Yes, they do. I mean, they've done it eight times now, so they well, better six times, I guess, because she's not in two of them. Uh, she's not in three of them. Yeah, well, he's not in one of them. I, mean, I guess he's in three a little bit for like half a scene in the Easter egg. It's not even real. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Two uh, of them basically just don't count. It's like one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two and three are not really in the in the series. I also have another question for you guys to start out. Sure. What the fuck is going on with the ticket sales for this movie? I have an update on that. Okay. And as uh, as you, people will be listening to this, this movie will have most likely cleared $1 billion in foreign alone. Yes. Last night we watched it and it, like it's opening weekend. It did 136 domestically and it hasn't budged. Has not budged at all. We went week two, and it was a pretty empty theater for a fast movie. And it was a Saturday. Week. This wasn't Tuesday during a matinee. This is Saturday. Saturday matinee. I was kind of like, this is pretty thin for a fast movie. 
And last night it was at 744 altogether. So it was like 500 and something worldwide. Mm -hmm. They updated the numbers worldwide. It's already up to 744 worldwide. So this thing is going to make a billion dollars without doing anything domestically. And that makes very little sense. I don't get it. The last one was such a big deal. Sure. It cleared like 350 million in two weeks. The last one was the fastest to a billion ever. Yeah. And you couldn't get a seat to go see it. No. This one, like, they're paying people to come watch it. I wonder if it has something to do with the nostalgia of Paul Walker. Why? Like, oh, no, Paul Walker's not in it. I'm out. Not that he's not in it, but if if people are just, <laughs> I don't know. Um, they're going to get sad? I, I don't know what you're trying to say. Well, I guess for me, it, you know, there could be those those fans out there that are like, no, I, I think that they should have stopped doing this. Paul Walker is dead. So they're boycotting. Because they love Paul Walker. Not necessarily. It could have been any of the cast, but that it's. Well, probably not Tyrese. <laughs> yeah, probably not Tyrese. No one would cared, but. Um... Yeah, without these movies, that guy's got nothing oh, going on. Lot, oh. let's, let's be honest. A lot of these guys got nothing going on without these movies. Uh, I would say Ludacris. Everybody uh, but The Rock. Everybody but The Rock and. <laughs> Well, even Vin Diesel's the triple X three did not do good. Uh, Last Wish Hunter did not do good. Oh, it was bad. I yeah. loved it, but it was terrible. Uh, he's not. He's not on a string of successes. Let's just no. say. Um, so who's to say? It's getting. Uh, I will disagree with that statement. Oh. Because Helen Mirren has it going on. Oh yeah, Helen Mirren's done a lot of stuff, but she's not. She's not a rounder, Jackie. Yeah, she's uh, she's a special appearance by yeah. Helen Mirren. Uh, I would say even Kurt Russell doesn't really have a lot going on. No, that bone saw or whatever the shit that was, that was horrible. Yeah. So I don't I don't really know what what the aversion to this film from the US moviegoer is. It's getting bad it's getting bad it's reviews. It's getting bad reviews. It's got low fa- uh uh fan scores on both IMDb comparatively to the sure. others. Uh, uh both on IMDb and letterbox.com, which is the the site that we review on letterbox.com. Uh, check us out there, letterbox.com forward slash Jake Brandis. Sure. And uh, it's it's got a like a six on Letterboxd. Which is really low. That's super fucking low. Doesn't it have like a in the 40s on Round Tomatoes? Too? It's, it's met, I don't know what. Metacritic. Yeah, sorry, Metacritic 45. is uh, like a 45. Which is, it should be in the 60s. If you're, if here's, here's my point. If you're going to, if you're going to late rate this one low, you have to rate all the other ones low. Yes. Because it's the same thing. They're is, all like this. They're dumb as shit. They're all fucking dumb as shit. And that's why we like them. That's why we love them. So this one is just as good as any of the last four that we've seen that you guys fucking sucked that those movies dicks. Yeah. Let's get uh, 80 Metacritic score. 80? 80. He's a fucking superhero unexplained. A building falls on him and then he like gets resuscitated via I love you CPR. Yeah. And you're giving this an 80? What? Mm-hmm. No, I actually didn't. I mean, the Paul Walker thing, when the last one, it, it does. It drags it in. You're going to get more viewers, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, James Wan directed the last one. Right. I thought that was actually, because that's the one that has the most garbled visuals. Right. I actually thought from a directorial standpoint, it's one of the weakest ones, <laughs> because uh, Jim uh, Lynn does four, five, and six. Right. And they're fucking fantastic. And this one's F. Gary Gray. And I thought he got back into where it's not as good as the Lynn ones, mm-hmm. but it wasn't ju- it wasn't garbled visuals. There was a couple of fight scenes that were a little jumpy, but there was a lot of the last one that was hard to see. Not to mention, think about how hard it must be from a filmmaking standpoint to be like, each time, well, it's got to be more. Yes. Are we always, it can't be the last one. It's got to be more. What can we possibly have them fight on the sun? Yeah. I don't fucking know what, what's, what's more. We crank the last one to fucking 25 and you're asking for a 38. I don't have it. And yet they do each yes. fucking time. This movie is bonkers in action town and it's great. None of it's like draggy. Or, oh, man, come on. That was stupid. Mm -hmm. It's like, jump out of your seat going, hell yeah, our friend Sean, friend of the show, Sean, who's been on a couple episodes, at one point jumped out of his chair in the middle of the theater and went, fuck. (laughs) 
in a movie theater, <laughs> like in full volume. You couldn't, he couldn't censor himself. He it was, he it was, was too astounding. He for was him. a thirteen-year-old boy yes. in that movie theater, and I can't blame him because my, while I was watching it, I was sitting there going, "Look, I'm thirty-eight years old. Life is starting to get not very exciting for yes. me. Yes, uh, and it is getting harder each time to get me excited about anything. Mm. And I'm in that theater." Bouncing up and down on my butt, like yes, there was a couple of times that I needed arm restraints. Yeah, I kept trying to grab the movie. A full bladder, <laughs> I might have squirted a little. Yeah, no, I was glad that a little I, loss yeah. of control might have happened. I was willing to pee my pants. It was that good. Yeah, but I had to pee, and I looked at my watch, and I you was like, gambled and won. Fortunately for your britches, yeah, but and you could have pissed your pants. I would have. Yeah, it, I mean, I wouldn't have stopped you. I, I was just sitting there and I looked down at my watch and I'm like, oh, okay, this movie's been going now and it, it's probably, you know, what? I just fuck it. I can't miss anything. It, it hurts real bad and I'm starting to get those weird pee pee pains and I just don't fucking care. I just cannot, go, man. I, yeah. I cannot miss a single second of that. There, We probably were sitting in urine the whole time because yes. everybody else had the same problem and just pissed their pants in this theater. Because you can't not piss your pants. Well, it's by the formula of the films. Once you get into the last 40-minute action sequence, you know that you're in, and it's like, I can't go now. Um, I'm sorry, the last 40 minutes? They sort of do like about a 40-minute action sequence It at the seemed end of like them. this one was two hours and six minutes yeah. sequence. Well. I don't remember them letting off the gas pedal they ever. didn't, but let's say they went to a different place okay. with the action. Oh, okay, a new scene. Yes. Oh, I, so I've the, heard of those. Yeah. The last scene, okay, which is right. generally their gonzo scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, once that starts, you realize you're in it, and you're just like, I can't leave, no I'm, matter what happens. I, I, If I leave, I will regret it for the rest of my life right now. About 178 things are about to happen in the next 35 minutes. I can't miss a second of it. Yeah. Let's get into this thing. You guys ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, we should note, if you haven't seen this movie, this is going to be very heavy spoilers. Uh, and this is a heavy spoiler movie at the same time. Some big shit happens in this fucking movie. Yeah, you should go watch this movie. Yeah, you should go watch this movie. But uh, it starts out with Dom and Letty in Cuba. Yes. Havana. Another formula piece for the film. Dominic Toretto, the vulture of culture. Oh, yes. Because he's in tone with all of the cultures he, of the world. He knows the people. He's a man amongst the people. He Sam. is a man amongst the people. Mm-hmm. They love him. Everybody loves him. He's like fucking Robin Hood, honestly. Yeah. He just, go wherever he goes, people shower him with, hey, oh my God, it's Dom. He's like the guy. No, I'm not going to go there because I'd have to tell the whole joke. But he's <laughs> he's the m- most interesting man in the world. He is. And they're on their honeymoon. Right in Cuba. Yeah, they just got married and they're honeymooning. Um, Havana, Havana, and, and it's beautiful there. Oh yeah, dude, Cuba's a fucking good-looking country, honey. And you know what else and they have? Butts. Yeah, that's my. Oh, my oh God. I was gonna go there next. <laughs> I was like, yeah, and they have a bunch of butts. They and they are slightly clothed, it. slightly clothed butts. Sort of clothed butts. Yeah. Uh, and not one fat ass in the bunch. No, no, but there uh, was no craters in the moon temple asses walking around. <laughs> it was all young hot things yeah, with buns. Pre- pretty good looking butts in this. But uh, Dom is like checking out a car, and he's like, "Hey, I like what you've done here. It's a boat engine. That's the spirit of Cuba yes. and cars." Because he's he's he knows. tuned in. He knows. He knows. He knows this shit. Well, he can speak the language, right? Of, of all mankind, Jackie, I think that Dom could walk into, uh, I don't know, Lithuania and speak their language. Sure. Uh, he could, He's like a 3CPO unit. He is like C-3PO. You're absolutely right. He's a protocol droid with muscles. He's just charisma ooze. Yeah, he's... Liquid charisma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's not exclusive to these films either. If you watch Vin Diesel movies, that's... His shtick, it's like in, he produces a lot of his own movies mm-hmm. as well, mm-hmm. but it's like in the, it's part of the deal is that Vin Diesel's character must understand your culture no matter <laughs> where the fuck he is. So, so this guy's like, uh, uh, he's got, uh, his cousin's there. Dom's cousin. No, it's Letty's cousin. Oh, is it? Which means Letty's Cuban? How do you, where are you getting that? I I swear to God it was Dom's. No, it was, I thought it was Jackie? Letty's cousin. I thought it was Letty's cousin because. Yeah. Really? Okay. He looks more like Letty. 
Hmm. I thought he looked like Dom. Apparently, Letty's part Cuban. He either way, he's both of their cousin because now they're married. Sure, it's they're all family, Sam. And it's we you know one thing about fast. It's all about family. Yeah. Uh. So he's there. Fernando is his name, and uh, he's getting his car towed away by this guy named Ralph, who's kind of like a. I guess he's like a like a slum lord of cars in I Cuma. I guess. Yeah, he takes the cars and he sells them in the United States for mass profit. Why not just punch this guy and be like, "No, we lost a, we made a deal with him, and now he's got to live up to the deal." What was the deal? Steal my car? I bet he borrowed money from him. Oh, okay, all right. So he's a loan shark. Yeah, and so he doesn't have the. He wants two more days. And he's like, "That wasn't the deal." And even Dom's like, "Yep, dude, you got to live up to the deal." Yeah. Speaking of deals, there's other kind of deals. Um, okay. Perhaps you've heard of these movies and the deals that they make. Racing for pink slips. Pinks. Oh yeah, the pinks. So, hey, buddy, you want you want to me to not punch you because this guy's kind of being a dick to Letty, and Tom's like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it about the cars, and so they fucking set up a pink race. Through the streets of Van. What's it called? It's a Cuban mile instead of the quarter mile. Cuban mile. And basically the Cuban mile, I don't really understand the rules. You just drive around Cuba. I I'm guess. guessing with the speeds that they're going, the Cuban mile is about seven and a half miles long. Right. And you haul ass and you get to some place. Where you started from. Okay. And they have through live streets. These are traffic filled streets that you're racing through and they send out a couple motorcyclers to ride ahead and block traffic as you're going and letty's one of the guys on the motorcycle and some of, and fernando's i guess is the other guy yeah he's ready this sequence wowie wow wow doesn't matter what kind of car it is matter who's behind the wheel yeah he's got to drive the thing is is this guy's got the fastest car in cuba yes all of cuba and Dom's got to drive Fernando's fucking jalopy. Yeah. His POS that's barely being held together by anything. Mm -hmm. He kicks the bumper off of it. Dom rips most of the car off to say shit, shed weight. And then he, he does some tricks. He jury rigs. And this may be where some of the criticism comes. Because I don't remember as much outlandish car stuff happening. Maybe it's lost its car people. Because he, like, jury rigs a nitrous and a turbo and some other shit with a Coke can. Right. And it's just uh, the tab of a Coke can. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not even the whole can, dude. The The whole thing is he's got a, like, it, the Coke can lid is tied to a string that he can pull. And when he pulls that, it's going to pull a vacuum hose off and, I guess, really make the car go fast. Yeah. Uh, nope. Uh, uh, it actually makes it go slower when you don't have all the vacuum hoses connected. Yeah. But... The 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 trade off why you don't just do this all the time is it makes the engine way too hot. Yeah. Like ludicrously hot. Like the sun hot. So you can't you gotta be careful here, Dom. I only need to do it for a little while. Okay. So yeah, he he rigs the car with product placement and then mm -hmm. uh they have their start the movie, it's a race. Yeah. Immediately. I mean, this is th we're talking we're talking maybe three minutes into this thing before yeah. it's already literally on fire. Yeah, it's a car race on fucking fire. Dom, this guy's kind of cheating, but not really like super bad guy cheating, like not the Dude, other. They threw a motorcycle out. Okay, that's, of him. that's not really great. Ride to kill him. They tried to kill him. OK, that's not awesome per se, but uh, I've seen I've seen Dom's enemies do worse. Yeah. Um. Well, at this point, they probably know that he's not human. That's true. He's a superhero. Right. Like, yeah, hey, that's not even going to bother him. Not really. It'll just bounce off the car. But it slows him down a little bit. So now he's got to pull the fucking vacuum line. And the car launches into into space, basically. Yes. It's, it's a rocket ship on fire. His entire engine compartment is on fire. He's he, almost on fire. He, he can't see shit. Nope. The whole window is blocked out by flames. So what is he going to do if he can't see out the front? Just turn it around and go 96 oh miles an hour in reverse. He fucking kicks it without a problem. Yeah, he's the got engine, five speeds going backwards. The too. engine Fuck it. 
has taken <laughs> over. The engine is so powerful, it is fused into the transmission, and the transmission has said, you know what, engine? I'll just let you have all the gears in either direction, whatever. Whichever. Physics don't matter. Yeah. Uh, go fast. <laughs> go fast backwards. <laughs> and he wins the race, and he has to ditch the car. He almost runs some people over. You're like, oh, my God, is there going to be a weird accident here at the beginning? Mm-hmm. No. He crashes safely into the ocean and then jumps out. And he jumps out at, I, they, I think they're going like 200 miles an hour. Yeah. Now. And he's fine. Not, he, not even a scratch. And his clothes he's don't even get in. wearing it. white. And yes. He doesn't even get dirty. Not even dirty. It's beautiful. Uh, so much fun. And but, Fernando's like, holy shit, dude, that was, inc- that was crazy. And Ralph's like, you know what? You earned my respect today. Dom's and, like, you know what? You can keep your car, buddy, because all all I need is respect or some shit like that. But when we analyze this scene, what really happens is his cousin or her cousin is getting his car taken, and they're like, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to throw that car in the ocean. (laughs) Because that's all that happens. That's all that fucking happens. And the bad guy gets to keep his car. He's earned Dom's respect. And Dom's like, cool. Hey, Fernando, he, you're still a fuck up. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to be in the rest of this movie, Fernando. Uh, here's the keys to my car, though, because I am i don't need it. And yeah. why did I even have the nicest car in Cuba when I'm on my honeymoon? What was his thought like? Oh, hey, uh, lady, we're, we're going to Cuba. I better have the nicest car while we're there. Yeah, in well, all of Cuba. Well, you got to think about this. They've got fuck you money. They do have fuck you money. That's true. Yeah. So why they didn't just pay off the loan shark guy and be like, here's the 500 bucks that he obviously paid for this piece of shit. Right. But I don't know. Because I guess Fernando needs to learn. Sort yeah. Of. Yeah. Only so sort kind of. of like, oh, no, my car's in the ocean. Here's a better one. Yay, me. <laughs> yeah. And the and the crowd is just like, yeah. Woo, I mean, yeah. everybody's like jumping up and down. Toretto, Toretto. Yeah, but the like this is clapping. some kind of the butts are clapping. <laughs> this this is like some kind of rock concert is happening. All of Cuba has come together and rallied around Dominic Toretto because that he can bridge empires. He can win the hearts of people, women, children, and dogs. He might be Jesus. He might be. He, he might should be. probably be the head of the UN. Things would be better. Uh, or all of it. Yeah. The head of the Vatican. He could be the Pope. He could be the head of the UN. Uh, he could probably also like uh, take over S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, do good things there. He could probably also run Hydra and make them nice. Mm. That would be that would be something he could do. Uh, anyway, so there, so they're like, cool. That was enough of our honeymoon. See ya. So later, they're hanging out, being lovey-dovey. I, I do like them. I'll watch them on screen. Sure. Be smoochy smooth because they just obviously like each other. Everybody yeah. in these films clearly like each other. They have a nice time. They have such great chemistry. I love them. Uh, and he's like, I guess I got to go get a pack of smokes or something. So he goes outside and there's this lady standing behind a broke, ca- broke down car. And he's like, it looks like you could use some help. And she's like, of course I can, mister. Come on over here. By the way, I know you're Dominic Toretto. What? Bum, bum, bum. I've got something to show you, Dom. And she shows him a phone and he's like, oh, fuck. And we don't know what the oh, fuck thing is. But he's like, damn it. I guess I have no choice but to do whatever you say. And she's uh, she's like, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to betray your team, your yeah. family. That's what's going to happen. We all know this from the trailer, but, uh, you know. Okay. Bye. See you later. And I guess she gives him the whole plan real fast. I really, it has, she has to do it very briefly. Very quickly. And no, she does it because she drives off. So he's got to be like, okay, well, I'll go meet you, I guess. And then you can give me the plan very briefly because there's no other way to explain it because he does not come back from getting the pack of smokes. He can't. He's getting, yeah, with well, coffees because he's a healthy guy. Right, right. But yeah, yeah. no, there's no plan divulgence. No. Uh, cut to Hobbs. Sure. Played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, he is getting recruited by. Oh no! Okay, you don't want to go that far. You want you want to? Okay, Jackie, what happens here? He's a soccer dad. He is a soccer dad, and he's he's. I wouldn't say he's a soccer dad. I would say he's the soccer dad. Yeah, he's the soccer coach. 
he is the sh- the soccer d- uh, dad. He's taught him a dance to intimidate their enemies. I think they're that, at the championship game. I think that he could co- coach the Cowboys. Why not? I mean, dude, I'm fucking jacked by him being the coach. They didn't have to win any games as long as his ass is out there in a tank top. The butts and they're going to be in the seats. Yep, that's true. Tell that from the soccer field. <laughs> a lot of moms. A lot there's, of moms. There's more moms than children. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's all he says. And, yep. then, and then he turns to the FBI guy and does that titty juggle thing. And oh, yeah. oh yeah. Ding 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, it's all clear now. <laughs> Can you smell what the Hobbs is cooking? Duh. <laughs> no. So, anyways, yeah, his team is clearly the best soccer team of all time because he's the coach and he's they they're already in the championship. Exactly. And the other team is not prepared. No. Nope. For them in any way like the fuck we're going to get our asses kicked. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me right now? Well, the one little girl's like I don't want to play anymore and she I just quit. runs off the field. I quit soccer for life. I can't I can't play against these guys. Are you no. kidding me? Fucking Dwayne the Rock Johnson's their coach. That's not possible. Uh, so this FBI government guy, I don't even know who he is. He's like, come on over here, and uh, we've got a job for you, Hobbs. We've got to have you do something. This one's off the radar. If you fuck it up, you're done. Yeah. That's the you get gist to go to jail. It. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I guess the job is, like, the Germans have got an EMP? I think somebody stole the EMP, and it's in Germany. I don't know. Okay. There's yeah. interna- I think that it actually is very much this this uh heist they have to pull is very much like the groundwork laid by the people in megaforce yeah yeah pretty much there i i don't really know the logistics but there's a border mm-hmm. and henry silva might shoot you with uh with a tank yeah maybe and you may or may not get an emp which uh is a a thing and b so what yes um i if 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 it's a thing i'm pretty sure all the countries have emps yeah if germany's got one everybody's got one why Mm -hmm. can't germany have an emp dude why not yeah you know though i think you're to me this is where the comedy starts in this film (laughs) (laughs) because not the launching space car into the ocean and the clapping butts and the butt clapping yeah but this is where the comedy really starts for me because he's like you know, if they don't win, it's Manny's and or it was like it's ice creams and movies and a lot of Tay Tay. And he's like, Tay Tay, Taylor Swift. God, get it together, man. Fuck, come on. He looks at it. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's a funny guy. Yeah, and to me, you know, I'm just gonna say this now. He was the funniest character to me in this whole movie. I would go with that too. Yeah, he's a he's he's a funny guy. Okay, so he's in order to do this, the guy's like. You're going to need a team. Oh, I think I can get a team put together. So Rock calls Dom and is like, Dom, I need you to put the team together. We got a mission in Germany. And Dom's already been churned. And he's like, he's he's bummed. He's not happy about this. It's clear that Dom is not a, like he's suddenly gone bad guy, like he's been brainwashed or anything. He's not into this at all. He feels like shit. It's a total bummer. It's a total bummer. He's like, fuck. He knows that the phone call's coming, and he, he doesn't want to take it. I got to. God damn it. You're, like, I'm starting to be like, dude, Dom, this sucks, man, for you. I fucking love you, dude. Yeah. Um. So they go to Germany. Mission successful. We don't even see the mission. Yeah. They just bust out of the fucking this is how German r- base. How routine the team is now. Yeah. They just cut to the end. We've already got it. They can go into a world power and steal all of their military weapons yes without problem well there is a you know some people chasing them sort of (laughs) and then we get to learn how pendulums don't work yes oh boy oh my god it was awesome (laughs) yeah uh ludicrous has set up a an explosive device on a on a ball and chain crane what do we call wrecking ball ball cranes yeah and it swings and takes out all the fucking cops behind them not all the cops (laughs) No. They used to, you've only got half of them. Just wait. Fucking comes back and takes out the other. Mission success. It's the same joke. Two guys walk into a bar, you think the second one were to duck. Right, they just drive right into the like, fucking wrecking ball. Wrecking ball hits him, and they're like, oh, Gary, good thing it swung past us that way. It's definitely <laughs> not coming back. Stay in the middle of the road. Dumb dumb. 
All right, so they're cruising around, and they're like, all right, good job. Uh, let's meet back at the base, and we'll give high fives and drink some Coronas and have a barbecue and talk yeah. about family. Not this time. Dom wipes out Rock, who's driving with the EMP, and Rock's like, dude, what the fuck, bro? What is going Don't touch that. No, don't take that, Dominic. Do not do it. And Dominic just silently takes it. And it looks like it bye weighs, bye. what, 700 pounds? At least. And he just sort of picks it up like it's a bag of clothes. <laughs> yep. Wanders off with it. The laundry. Yep. This is when bald guy Brostock has reached an all-time low. Oh, no. We're in the tank on bald guy Brostock. <laughs> yes. We've been building up this bald guy Brostock since he picked him up in five off the ground. They're like, yeah. You're bald, I'm bald, we're bros. <laughs> we are bros. <laughs> and then he's like, no, my bald bro, you're gone. Anybody <laughs> but you, bald bro. <laughs> the bro stock market is crashing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we're in a bald bull market. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he fucks off the EMP. And Tom or uh, Hobbs gets arrested because that was the deal. The cops pull up and he's he's crashed. He can't get out or anything. I guess he's trapped. So they arrest him, send him to prison. And uh, outside, Mr. Nobody, played by Kurt Russell, who I don't even think had a name in this in seven. He, he's I Mr. Remember, Nobody. I don't remember why being they called Mr. Nobody. No, he wasn't. So they make him that now. Okay. He just is Mr. Nobody. There's so. a lot of amendments in this script. Like Lydia's Cuban, I guess. Huh, okay. <laughs> by the way. I guess they never said she was anything else, so yeah, why not? Well, you know. So they're like, the, it, Mr. Nobody's got this new guy, and he's essentially Zac Efron, but I guess he's Scott Eastwood. Scott Eastwood, yeah. yeah. He's a pretty handsome fella. I would have gone with Zac Efron here. I'm just going to I'm gonna say this is my primary problem with this film, Scott Eastwood. He stinks. He stinks. He he's just sucks. He's supposed to be funny. It doesn't work. I, I didn't like it. But... Um, actually, I have another problem with this movie, but we'll get to that. So he's like the new guy and he's learning the ropes, but he's also like trying to be like tough cop. Like he's like, well, Kurt Russell, you're tough. I can be tough, too. I'm going to throw these guys some business. And Rock basically just says, nope, you're not. No. Picks him up, chucks him against a prison wall and like holds it, him sideways, just holds him sideways because he's got superhuman strength. He's pinching his neck and his balls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He also breaks the cuffs before he does it. Right. They don't. He's being nice by letting the cuffs not be broken. He is taking this prison sentence in stride. He's like, I, I got myself here. I'm going to get myself out. I don't need you, Mr. Nobody, because I don't need you. Even if I didn't want to do that, I could just walk through the fucking prison wall. I can escape. Just by going through the concrete. Because I'm fucking Hobbs. Why not? Why not? No, I'm here voluntarily. I'm going to do things my way. The right way. That was, that was a pretty good rock. Sam. Yeah. So he goes into the prison voluntarily. And uh, hey, guess who's in this prison? And they're right across from and each other. And they just happen to be posed right across from yeah. each other. It's Deckard Shaw. Played by Jason Statham. Bald, bro. <laughs> Wait a second. You don't have any hair. But I still don't like you yet. Yet. Uh, bald bro stock is still low, but we're seeing some signs of yeah. maybe uh, maybe a comeback. I don't know. Uh, according to these numbers, the market might rebound. <laughs> <laughs> if we increase the interest rates by 3%, bald bro stock will be at an all-time high in... Well, by the end of the film. Yeah. What does Barnacki say? Oh, fuck Barnacki. <laughs> These two have great chemistry. <laughs> we play by Keynesian bald bro stock rules. Yeah. It's all Greenspan, god damn it. <laughs> He's the king of the bald guys. I'm just lost in the bro yeah, you, you thing. Just, you're done. Jackie's mind has been blown by bald bro stock. <laughs> I'm like... I want to move on from this, but then the more I think about it, the funnier it is. And I'm just like, no, don't get sucked down this hole. The wolf of Bald Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, these two are just funny fucking guys. They're awesome enemies. It's, I yeah. want yeah. them. It's I, I, no, I don't care what they do. Just put them together. Yeah, they're, they're fun. 
It, it was a lot of fun. And they're verbally just shaking their wieners at each other. Yep, just pulling them out and being like, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Fucker! Oh yeah, fucker! <laughs> you will. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, and so they're they're setting up their plans. They're going to have a, a final showdown. The only rules: two men enter, one man leaves. And but something happens along the way to that. What's his nuts? Hobbs just gets let out of his cell and the prison guards are like, oh, oh, what the fuck? He's like, I didn't do anything. I'm then so they start zapping his balls and he's like, oh yeah. no, nobody zaps the rocks balls. No. So he fucking goes ape shit and starts tearing through these guys pretty fast. And Statham takes advantage of the situation, grabs one of the guys, grabs their taser baton thing, zaps his lock, which means that all of the other prison locks have also been zapped. They got a deal with the electric shin. Yes. Uh, it's a single circuit <laughs> uh-huh. for the whole thing. It was ambitious. Yeah. Uh, it worked for a while. Yeah, it didn't in the end. All the inmates get out. <laughs> all of them. Yep. And they are immediately killing all of the guards. They just like run out and start attacking guards. None of these guys try to like escape or do anything. It's just, all right, everybody got somebody they're going to fight here. Yeah. Do we have any single guys? Because we can do two on one guard or two guards on one inmate. We Everybody has to be fighting, though. All right, people. Remember, you're blocking by the numbers. This is a prison riot. This is the one we've been practicing for. Everybody got their fight partner, their, their, uh, their fight buddy, two by uh, two. If you got any questions, you see a guy wearing black, just start punching him in the back of the head. Who cares? Rock's like, I got Statham. Yeah. That's my fight buddy. And... Statham's the only one during this whole fucking thing that tries to escape. And Rock's like, "Uh uh-oh, that guy's getting out of here. I got to go after him. I'm going to stop that fucker. He belongs in prison. I can't stop being justice even when I'm in prison. Even when I'm in prison. And I fucking love this sequence. Statham's hopping around being Statham. Yes. Fast punching, athletic, jumping off guys' backs through the walls. He's Spider-Manning some shit, uh, kicking guys in the nuts sliding under him punching him in the bag as he goes by and rock is just basically the hulk he's just going in a straight line as fast as he can nobody can stop yeah north and south runner yeah walls of p at one point he kicks one guy in the chest causing three other men to fly through a wall yes (laughs) they have their shields ready they are ready to be human bowling pins you know, oh my, my favorite part, I have two favorite parts of this whole fight scene, right? Uh, the first is when they're shooting the rock with rubber bullets. Yes. And he's like... M- rubber bullets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he gets all pissed off about it. And they're he, just bouncing off of it. Yeah, and he's just annoyed as fuck. And then... Uh, and if you're the guy that's shooting him, after the second one when he's really giving you the I'm going to kick your ass eyes, you're like... Stop shooting him. You're, just, you're you're angering the bear. I I would turn to the side, do the little bow like well done, sir, and uh in, enjoy your exit. Uh, yeah. Say hi to the folks at home for yes, me. Uh, good. I, I can't stop you. Ah, well, please, we know where this is going. Please do not tear me in half. I'm sorry about the rubber bullets earlier. <clears throat> yeah, at, at this point, I think I would just sit down. <laughs> Here's your complimentary hot dog and. Uh, Next time you're in town, please stop by to visit. There is probably two guys that are in the security tower watching all of it on video. Like, Gary, close that door. Nobody knows we're in here. I'm not leaving. (laughs) Are you seeing this shit out there? That is crazy. I've already got my wiener out, Frank. Yeah, of course I'm seeing this. You brought the whole pot of coffee in here, didn't you? (laughs) I am not going anywhere. So they eventually. Wait, and my second thing. Okay. Jeez. You know, this movie I did see, unlike all those other ones. Um, my second thing that I loved is when the rock slides off of the stair. Um, yeah, I off really of liked that. That was fucking cool. Because I was like, dude, that'd be like the biggest hole ever at the end of that landing because he is not a small man. Yeah. And he made it look graceful. He, he did. He did the stunt, too. There yeah. was definitely his face there. That was fucking awesome. Uh, so anyways, they finally get out. They both busted out through the door. Just the two of them. They're the only ones that have, have cleared and are outside. And there's Mr. Nobody standing like, took you guys long enough. 
Yeah. I thought you were going to be out here much earlier. He's the one that caused this whole thing to go down. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry you don't have a choice, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You have to come work with me. I need you. Mm -hmm. Here's the sitch. That he gets all the crew, I guess, um, at Mr. Nobody's. Well, he tells that little, the the new guy. What's that guy's name? Uh, little Nobody? Scott Eastwood? Yeah, Little shrinkage. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, Shrinkage him. and Little Nobody. That's what they call him. I think uh, they should have called him just Shrinkage. Uh, I think they call Tyrese Shrinkage. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah, but he goes and rounds up the team, and he puts them in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Bring them in. Idiot. I said gather them, not arrest them, you stupid. So here's the deal. Here's what we got going on. There's a there's a new lady on the scene. Uh, her name is Cypher. She's questing for the God's eye. Remember that thing we captured in the last movie, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, I she we were... wants that. Oh, I thought we were going to drop that like a hot rock. It was dumb. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, a one-time uh, thing. Oh, we... no. We're, right, gonna... we're bringing that back? Oh, bringing okay. Bringing that back. All right. Fair enough. She's recruited Owen Shaw, Luke yes. Evans from uh, Fast Five. Was he originally? That was, we didn't know that he was working for her back then. Yeah, right. They got to right, right. tie all this shit together. Right. So he's he's there to steal Nightshade, and we don't know what Nightshade is. And uh, that uh, Mosa Jaconda guy was yeah, working for everybody. from Fast Seven. Okay, huh. So she's pulling all the strings. Um. Now she's got Dom. Mm -hmm. She's got a new guy. Uh, you might recognize him. And everybody's like, my God. So what you guys got to do, you got to take Dom down. Yeah. He's the most dangerous man and also the most cultured man of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your heart out, Duncan Jacks. He is... Uh, we don't know what to do. We need you guys to take Tom down. He's the, the he's Superman. So yeah, we need you to bring him in. Good luck. Yeah. Fortunately, at this point, uh, you, Ludacris and the gal from Game of Thrones are like, oh, blah blah blah, blah magic eye, jargon, jargon, jargon. Mm -hmm. We can type now. Action typing. Action typing. Let's use the God's eye, says Therese. We can reverse it. Blah, 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 blah. Action typing. <laughs> graphics, graphics, graphics. Oh, my God. The call's coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Dom busts through the wall. They all get gassed with these, like... Concussion grenades. Yeah. You know, that makes you your senses lo lost for an hour. They're yeah. new. I don't know. They're okay. new. Right. They, they threw that stuff. in there. They're, that they were new. They're human EMPs. Yeah. They're, that's what they've done is they've taken that EMP drive and and shut it down for bodies. It's just you go and your poop comes out of your butt and yep. everything. Did you, did you guys poop too? Because I, I pooped a lot when that <laughs> happened. Am I the only one that pooped? Tyrese, <laughs> as we know, only eats. The only thing he does in these movies is eat food. So he had a he had a rot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, thinking of that. He didn't eat in this movie. Uh, he mentions it. Mm -hmm. He's like, can we wrap this up? Because I am getting fucking hungry. <laughs> oh, so, that's right. Yeah. So they, Dom comes in with Cypher. They're all down. It's bad. She's like, oh, gotcha. By the way, she slips the tongue to Dom. Yeah. And he's <laughs> like, I guess I don't have a choice here. Uh, you, why are you eating my face? This is new. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know this was part of the blackmail. Yeah. I have to kiss you. You smell like cigarettes. Grody. Did you eat deviled eggs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about let's 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 just do this. Super beauty Charlize Theron in this film. You know, I've had it with her. I, you've had it with her for a long time. Yeah. I don't think she looks good in this film. She doesn't look good. They did something bad with her makeup, her eyebrows. It's like she's not wearing makeup, but she is. And then she's got dreadlocks. Yeah. So she looks like a fucking hungover spring breaker throughout the whole film. Yeah, like a hung Okay, that's a good one. She's She looks like hammered shit. Or like your weird cousin. Yeah. Like... You're weird. You could almost be hot. Why am I looking at my cousin that way? But you're, you're clearly not hot. You're clearly weird. You know that she's not wearing deodorant. No, she stinks. Yeah. She fucking She's got real bad. patchouli oil on. Oh. And oh god. And you know she smells because of that fucking hair. Yeah. Yeah, you, your dreads stink. You they smell bad. You can put as much cocoa butter on as you want on you can't 
cover up the human stench that is emitting from your tangled mess of rats. And you're sweating rum. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So Dom's like, gross. But it's in front of Letty, and she's like, Dom, no. She's like, yeah. Things are pretty crappy over You're on my side. Breaking my heart, and I'm pooping. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was the look on everybody's face. Yeah. It wasn't like pain, but it was like, "Oh God, it's gonna happen, and I can't fucking stop it. I can't be the only one." <laughs> yeah, no, it's it would have to happen. That's like the scene, the deleted scene, where we're all sitting there, like having coffee, shaking with blank. Is like, we're just not going to talk about how we all pooped, right? We're just not going <laughs> to mention that ever again. So they steal the book, the God's Eye. Now they've got all of the fucking cards. Oh, that was the only thing we had. Damn it. And they go back to uh, the big jet. That's what she's got. That's what uh, my plot synopsis here says. Back in the big jet. Yep. Because she just has a big jet. That's where she works. Yeah. That's where she lives, I think. They saw Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and they're like, mm-hmm. yeah, do that. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it did have the cool uh, satellite thing on the top of it. Yeah, that was Okay. I don't know what those are for. I think it's supposed to be radar, but who fucking knows? And he's like, why'd you kiss me? You, you're really gross. Don't do that again. She's like, you don't have a choice, Buster. You're out of choices because da, 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 da. I've got something downstairs that you need to see. That the audience has been waiting for. Yeah. Downstairs in like a prison bedroom. Prison? It's like a glass uh prison house what are those called when you like a diorama it's yeah, a, it's a yeah. habitat for a person yeah. or like like, like a, at the zoo like a doll house when they mm-hmm. you open up the doors and all the rooms are cut in half yeah it's a diorama of the holiday inn yeah and the oh no it's cozy <laughs> it's it's el sapatake the booby lady yes what's her name El- elena elena from fast five. 5 she was briefly in 7 and no she was in 6 and then she gets broken up with by Dom in seven when Letty comes back. Yeah. And she's got a baby in there. So this is, I don't know about the timeline on this baby. It's a little questionable. It's a baby. And it's like, what? where didn't she guys bone like two years ago? Dom, this is yours. I was going to tell you that this is your child. After your honeymoon. I thought you could enjoy the break, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's really weird that I was pregnant this whole time. I was at your wedding yeah, and uh, worked had the... a big fucking tummy. Didn't or, show. Or, she... or, and or was holding a baby and yeah. nobody asked me about it. But uh, I should let you know, it's yours. Is it? Because <laughs> <laughs> wasn't she also dating The Rock? I couldn't tell... It was like they couldn't decide whether they were going to go there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that they did. Yeah. Um, so they're blackmailing him. They're like, you fuck up, man. You, even if you shoot me right now, Dom, says Cypher, a hundred guys are going to come in here and basically explode this fucking Holiday Inn diorama with bullets. Yeah. And he's like, there's a hundred people on this plane. That doesn't make any sense. Where do you keep them? Where did they? Were they just like on the top? Huh. Laird. There's something on the wings, um, many guys. <laughs> oh my God, I just had a thought. Maybe they're tiny men. <laughs> <laughs> because both of the, the Rock and Vin Diesel are bald, right? It's not like they could be like, yeah, that's definitely not my kid. That's not even my color hair. Oh my God. The baby is also a bald bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bald bro, baby! <laughs> There's been a bounce back in the market. <laughs> well, we'll get there. <laughs> so they're back at the at the good guy HQ. Hobbs, they have all woken up and asked about each other's britches and uh, said, you know, that sucks. We lost that. That was our only thing. But hey, let's bond a little bit, Jason Statham. You were a former British captain of the guard SAS all of it the highest awarded medal you can possibly get the queen has bequeathed on you bequeathed um bequeathed to you and Put what the fuck man why are you a bad guy why why were you so shitty it turns out remember why you were in prison yeah uh yeah i've, I've been had a bit here mm-hmm. yeah 
Oh, the well, he says, why does a why does a former uh, special agent that's been awarded a silver star turn? Uh, I voted for Brexit. Yep, that's what uh, happened, and they they made me a bad guy. I didn't know it was Taco Tuesday. <laughs> What does Taco Tuesday have to do with anything? He came with a hamburger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. Not yeah, I, dude. I've got egg on my face. Not uh, not fish and chips, huh? No. Let's just make generic, stereotypical jokes. Why about not? British. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Because it turns out I'm really not very funny, Sam. But, I just uh, pretend to be on TV. <laughs> but anyway, they uh, get back to their classic, well, I'm still going to whip your ass. Oh, not if I don't whip it first. Wait a second. Hold on. You're bald. Wait a second. You're bald. And I'm, I'm bald. bald. And wait, we've just, we have to interrupt this Holy broadcast shit. for a report. There is a new stock <laughs> emerging in the bald guy bro stock market. There is a predicted rebound in the bro stock market for bald guys. They've just got flow charts that yeah. are just pictures of bald guys bouncing around. <laughs> they got one of those little glass things that shoots the tape out of it. They're like, oh, that thing's back alive again. Yeah, one of those guys with one of those green visors, and mm-hmm. he's just hitting the numbers and shit's flying everywhere. Just coins start shooting out of the car's <laughs> exhaust pipes. The goddamn slot machine. The bald bros are back. There we got bald guy bro stock. <sighs> and this is one of my favorite lines in the movie. Okay. I'm going to punch you so hard that your teeth are going to be coming out your asshole and you're going to have to brush your teeth <laughs> through <laughs> your <laughs> asshole. I totally again. fucked it up yeah, again. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that uh, I think The Rock is a better actor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he definitely has better timing and jokes a than A man me. who used to wrestle other men <laughs> in fake wrestling. <laughs> definitely better at acting than you. <laughs> it's not fake, Justin. <laughs> I'm going to punch you so hard, your face is going to be in your butt, and then your butt is going to smile and then be a face butt. And then when you brush your hair, you're going to also be brushing your butt hair. So it's, but you don't have hair, so I guess you're still just brushing your butt hair. You're going to have to buy a comb, <laughs> brush your, your head hair, and it's now your butt hair. Then I'm going to punch you. <laughs> That's how it's going to start. That's, but I can't because you're my best friend now. Now we're total bros! <laughs> Uh, so uh, the the next note to, to explain the plot moving along <laughs> is Deckard finds some info on a laptop that points to New York. Okay, we're headed to New, New York. York. <laughs> and by the way, the God's Eye does other stuff now. Yeah, it does uh, whatever you need. Whatever you need it to do. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the Eye of Agamotto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so her Cypher's next mission for Dom is to... There's a like a envoy or an ambassador or foreign guy there. He's the he, Russian um, minister of defense. Okay, yeah. he's got the nuclear football. Wouldn't have it. No, he no, wouldn't. He I, would not have it in the United States. Don't think he would have it in the United States. And also, nope. I don't think Putin's going to let that go. <laughs> no. Um. Either way, he's got a nuclear. He's got football. a nuclear football, and Dom's going to steal it. Yeah. She wants control of some nukes. And the, the way that this is going to happen is this guy's got a cavalcade of armed security around him, uh, cops are following him, cars, bulletproof limousine with, like, reinforced everything. It can't be shot at or exploded or anything. It's basically a good-looking Lincoln tank. And uh, so what are we going to do here, Dom? Well, first, he's, he's got a little mess in his engine. Oh yeah, that's right. He uh he's he's gone ahead and rigged his high beams to cause his car to misfire. Correct. So she thinks well she doesn't know what to think, but he's saying that uh hey, I've got to fix this real quick and he positions himself perfectly so that the god's eye cannot spot him. Yep. Thanks to a little help from uh Fernando and Ralph from Cuba. Uh-huh. Oh, you just gave away the plot. Well, so what? It's kind he of. Goes, not, it's really pretty telegraphed he, because the very next thing he does is go sits down with Helen Mirren, starts talking about how to get away with this. He has the du- what I've called the dubious meeting because he's like five minutes. And then he's obviously just going to go hang out at a bar for like 45 minutes. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's no way this shit gets done in time. Right. Like none. But it does. Hey, why am I even talking to you? You have hair. Huh. Mm-hmm. You should be a bald girl, then you, but then you couldn't be a bro, so oh, I guess I'll allow it. And Helen Mirren in this movie is fucking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty funny. They give her a leather-printed outfit. Mm-hmm. She looks, 
you know, they they really did not polish her like they do in all of her other movies. Right. She looked like she would be a mom of two. Of Deckard Shaw and Owen Shaw, because yeah. she's Deckard and Owen's mom. But yeah. at the same time, I would totally still bang her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She looks good, but she looks a little rough, and she talks rough, and that was the funniest thing to me. Mm. We're gonna cock me. Yeah, she talks like Jason Statham. Yeah. It's great. And it's like, you're such a prim and proper lady. And to hear you talk like that makes me very happy. So he makes a deal with her. We don't know what it is. He cuts away. He comes back to the car just in time. She's like, oh, okay. Proceed with plan A. And uh, plan A is to use God's eye to take control of every self-driving car in New York. That are all self-driving now, by the way. Your car drives itself. You didn't know that. You didn't know that even... You owner of a 1986 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a Nissan Stanza. It's self-driving. It drives itself. Yeah. Uh, Electronics by Mitsubishi, I'm guessing. Yes, they do. But now the God's Eye can turn all of the self-driving cars into a pack of wild dogs. A pack of fucking (laughs) buffalo. It's insane. They're they're just going to throw cars at this other car. Just piles, endless wave of cars. It's like they uh, un... Leashed every dog at the pound at once and tried to get away from it with a scooter that has a sack of hamburgers on a fishing pole. Yes, right. It is insanity. Or you put Brad Pitt at the top of a wall and the zombies climb up on top of each other. There's just so many goddamn self-driving cars. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And it's awesome. It is a blast. And they're they're following them, crashing into them from the side. She's got him chucking him at him from a parking garage from above, and the guy's like, Jesus Christ, Yeah, what is going on? Now, why is does she not just hack into his self-driving car and stop it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good question. I don't think it drives itself. It's a Lincoln, so it's got McGonaghy behind the wheel. Oh, right, yeah. That Can't buy figure. him unless you've got a sack of weed. Sometimes you got to go forward to get to the past. <laughs> That's, that was plan B, as if uh, this really elaborate thing with the cars and the wild dogs didn't work. They were just going to get uh, McGonaghy to pull over and give him a bag of weed. You shouldn't let yourself drive a car to find who you are. Oh, do you guys have any bongos? <laughs> Why are you in a tuxedo, Matthew McConaughey? You know, well, as soon as you give him the bongos and the weed, you know the pants are coming off. Well, yeah. Right? Why are you only in the top half of a tuxedo, Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Inside your Lincoln. Ugh. It feels good. Uh, I, I commend this sequence for visual effects because I know cars are the easiest thing to do CGI, mm-hmm. but at no point did they look like fake cars. No. So good job there. Yeah, and it looks it is bananas. It's so it's ridiculous. there's so many cars, so many fucking cars, and eventually they just get them all piled up around this this limousine. They're trapped. They've lost all of their armed escort, all the other cops. They're all by themselves. Just these two guys. I don't know what happened to the driver. Um, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Why not? Sure. Uh, and then she's like, Dom go. And Dom climbs out from behind all the piled up cars dressed as crossbones from the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. Oh, he I looks thought he looked like badass. <laughs> I thought he looked like S and M. Like uh, he no, was he, getting ready to punish somebody. He hey. looks like he's going to go to battle with the fucking Punisher or Captain America. Like, he looks fucking tough as shit right here. Yeah, he's got the battle mask and the whole thing. He's got a shield uh, and a fucking Jaws of Life type thing. It's not Jaws of Life. This is the buzzsaw of life. Yes. And it's way too big. (laughs) It doesn't matter because he can hold anything because he's super strong. If he went up against RoboCop like this, I think RoboCop loses. I don't know if RoboCop, like, if he's in swimming trunks... I think he still takes out RoboCop. Okay, man. He's Dominic fucking Toretto. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Give, he's got the world's biggest buzzsaw. That's insane. Yeah. And he's like the uh, the last bodyguard whips out, shoots an entire clip at him. It just bounces off the shield. And he's like, I'm out. I, yeah. I don't have any. There's nothing else I can do. I'm out. He should have said I'm out and then actually just got out of the car and ran away. And went home and tried to figure out what he did wrong with his choices in life. <laughs> you should have already, like, grabbed, the, give me the keys, Gary, and then he throws the keys at him, and he's like, did you just throw the keys at me? Yeah. And then Gary's like, why did you throw the keys? We'll never get out of here. He's like, are we getting out of here, Gary? No. There's a hundred cars piled in front of us. There's 
the, the clearly a superhero headed this way mm. or a villain. I don't know. But uh, Dom gets the long story short, gets the nuclear football. Yeah. And, they give it to him because they're pussies. And then he just gets in a car that he had parked right next to the piled up car. I don't know. Yeah. But he's in his car and he's driving away. And guess who fucking shows up to stop him? His own crew. With grappling hooks. Dumb. You're on your own here, says Cypher from space. Uh, thanks for everything. Why can't you hack into these cars? They're not self-driving. Oh, but all the other ones are. All the other ones are. Huh, okay. So they grapple. <laughs> this goes on for a while. Uh-huh. And eventually... What's he, in the previous two? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, you saw that. He, he punches one of the cars over and then flips them all around. But what you don't see it in the previews is that by the end of it, he's flipped his own car over uh-huh. and he gets out. So... He just sort of got out very dramatically. Now, hold on. I want to rewind just a little bit. Sure, sure. When they've got him grappled, they've Mm -hmm. got five cars latched onto his one car, which is a GTX. Who makes the GTX? It's a Challenger. Challenger? Okay. Um, The Challenger GTX? No, I was saying Dodge. It's Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Dodge Challenger. Should be Dodge. It's Dom. Um they he's peeling out and trying to get away and they've got all these high heavy powered horse you know cars pulling them and in fact Hobbs is in like one of his typical army truck Big things trucks uh and they're like my god how's he fighting this off he's got to have 3000 horsepower no it's got to be 4000 horsepower Five. It's five thousand. <laughs> thousand horsepower. Five thousand horsepower. The Queen Mary <laughs> didn't have five thousand horsepower, and it put people across the ocean. It's too much horsepower. Yeah. They where? What has he got? How? How does he have tires? One step of the gas, and the entire car would shut, like explode. From too much power. Well, I think that since he's been solidified as an actual superhero in the last one because he can't die and he's bulletproof and can pick up cars. I mean, for a while, he's been becoming a superhero. In, uh-huh. in six, he ends up flying across a freeway and landing on a car and he's fine. Right. He's, his blow is cushioned by a car. He's sort of like, we're like, okay, well, he's kind of Luke Cage. But then oh, he's a little bit tougher than Luke Cage. And at this point now, I feel like he acts, the horsepower comes from him. Oh yeah. So that's what his mm. his uh his now emerging new superpower is that horsepower just comes out He's of him. He's like Captain Marvel. Yeah. But oozes horsepower. horsepower. Like he absorbs horsepower from other cars and then directs it into his own. He turns charisma into horsepower. Yeah, I like it. Totes. Good call, Sam. That explains everything. Yes, it does. How does he keep the tires on? That still doesn't explain. They're nice tires. Pirellis. Oh, okay. That, yeah, they can handle it. They're not good years, those fucking assholes. <laughs> Firestone. <laughs> so he gets away. He almost, like, like Letty almost gets killed. And she's like, Dom, fuck off. You're not going to shoot me. He's like, damn it, you're right. And this uh, Beardy McBeardison, one of the wildlings from Game of Thrones, the cool wildling, uh, shows up. And he's like, why didn't you kill her? I'll do it for you. And Tom's like, fuck, no, you're not killing anybody. You yeah. So let you let go of that briefcase. Okay. So they get back to the jet. And uh, oh, you missed an integral part. What? He shoots uh, Decker. Oh, yeah. Decker, Decker uh, Shaw runs after him. Yeah. He's like, sorry, bud. I think this was going to be a street fight. No. We got 45 here. Shoot your ass. I did like that line. You thought this was going to be a street fight. Um, so... He gets back to the jet, and Cypher's like, what the fuck, man? Shoot Letty. Why didn't you shoot Letty? This is your stupid butthole. Now you got to pay. You got to pay for your choices, Dom. And he's like, I did what you wanted. I got you the launch codes. You kind of sound like a weird Sylvester Stallone. That's my only impression of him. Sylvester Stallone. I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> did, did he say something about a burrito? I think he said something about Ultimate Beastmaster. A burrito! <laughs> Is he plucking his show here? Huh. Um, 
So she's like, take a pick, bud. It's either the baby or the boobies. Uh, I'll pick for you. Bam. Kills Elena. What? Well, they have to. They kill the baby. He's going to tear that thing apart. Oh, I know. But they didn't have to kill her. I don't think she. Uh, they, Plot convenience, dude. Uh, no. See, here's the thing is I these movies are so bananas that I could have totally seen like, yeah, he's married to Letty, but they all live together. Yeah. Uh, it's a little, it's a little big lovey. And then and there's I the rock is hitting it too. Yeah, I, guess. I think everybody I, just would have been okay with it. Uh, why not? That's why. That's why Brian and what's her face got out. It was the damn bowl of keys. They're just wanting to swap like, all the like, time. No, you, know? you can't do a soft swap with your sister. That's gross. That is so gross, <laughs> Tom. <laughs> it's all about family. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Too soon. Uh, so. <laughs> Will it ever be late enough for that? Will it? Um, so she's got all the keys. She's got the codes. She's got the plane. She's got Dom still. Uh, he's not real happy, though. He's starting to mm, mm, not cool. No. And so she wants to get a submarine, a nuclear sub, it's that so she can... Threaten the world to be nice? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That almost sounds admirable. So I just have to go ahead and burn this question now. Mm -hmm. If you get the nuclear sub, what the fuck do you need the nuclear football for? That is totally correct. You can launch from the sub directly. Directly from the sub. Now, let's analyze what Jackie just said, because... The only thing she does is shoot a Brazilian cop. That is the only evil thing she does. The only act that she commits in our point of view. Sure. Because, uh, you know, they kill all those German people. I'm gonna... And then all she does is kill a bunch of Russians who are holding the world at ransom. I'm going to go ahead and say that that hairstyle is an egregious offense to humanity. That is true. That is true. She should probably be held accountable at a war trial tribunal for, for, for that. that. Yeah. yeah, bad hair. But really, and she doesn't even shoot. That's true. No, Elena, it's the it's, red guy. It's the uh, the ginger Scots guy. Yeah. Huh. She's going to get flipped. Okay, we'll get back to that. Um. So, hey, team. We got to go in and fucking stop them from this nuclear sub business. And Dom's got the EMP in the back of the fucking bulletproof charger. And he drives up to the gate, launches the EMP, gates open. All the electronics are down in the nuclear sub base. There's a helicopter flying around shooting at him. It's an EMP, sort of. Sort of. Because he has to keep using it to make shit. It's like, you do it once, it's all over. Yeah. All the shit's gone. Everything's fried. Supposedly. They don't just come back. No, you have to fix yeah. it. You have to rewire everything. I also think that this is, um, I don't know what happened here. That Camaro that he's in at the end mm-hmm. is a total copy of the Hoonicorn. Dom? Yeah. I thought that was a Charger with a no, bunch of the, shit bolted on At the on end, it. it's a Camaro. It might be. A, either way, it's a total shout out to the Hoonicorn. It's got so much shit on it, you can barely tell what it is anymore, right? Yeah, that's true. And it looks just like, the, like, I wonder if they were trying to get the Hoonicorn and they couldn't, so they just copied it, or what was going on with that? Yeah, the crew's there. They're like, holy shit, man, she's going to get that sub. We've got to stop it. They follow in, get on the sub, and like, uh-uh, you got nothing, lady. We pulled the chip out, so now you can't launch nukes. Good job, guys. Dom's like, Ugh. Meanwhile, somebody's making a surprise visit. On Cypher's airplane. <laughs> Jetmen. Jetmen. Rocket men. Rocket go go action. Rocket rockets. These things are cool. Oh yeah, they are super cool. These things are actual things. Yes. There's two two or three guys in uh uh Saudi businessmen that have made these go go action rocket rocket jetpacks that actually fucking work. Yeah. And they can fly around for forty minutes at the same speeds as an F fifteen. Like and get into dog fights with them, they're, they're probably insane. More maneuverable because they're so damn small. Yeah, too. no, they, these guys are actual superheroes. They are actually cooler than the Falcon. These go go action rocket rock. Yeah, they're pretty fucked <laughs> if they hit a bird. Do uh, you can imagine that? You're like, 
Yes! Yes! Oh, fuck! I'm flying a jet. Oh! <laughs> I always loved you. <laughs> then you just spiral out and land in the ocean like Goose does. Yeah. Maverick's up there going, no! My gay friend! Uh, volleyball! <laughs> <laughs> Ice man cometh. Yeah. I hope that means the, <laughs> the Ice Man ateth. Have you seen Val Kilmer lately? <laughs> Yikes. I heard he wasn't very nice. No, he is <laughs> a so huge dick. very mean. I don't know. He's one of the worst people ever. He's awful. He's a terrible man. <laughs> um. Anyways, uh, that's why him and Brando got along so well on that fucking set of Dr. I can, I can see eye to eye with you, buddy. You, you are know also a huge I piece really of shit. I really like that tiny man. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Did he get, did he, where did they where did they get more? You got more of those tiny men? I'd like one. <laughs> Can I have one for myself? <laughs> I Can I just I, take one home? Okay. Where did Brando get the tiny man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a supply on the tiny man market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these jetpack guys just happen to be Deckard and Owen Shaw. They've broken onto the plane. They're gonna fucking free that baby. Releasing Dom. And you're like, oh shit, Owen Shaw, you're gonna be I guess in this movie. Oh, okay. He's Dude. gonna kick so much. I guess not. Really. He goes. His job <laughs> is to go to the pilots' chambers, whatever you call the co- the cockpit. The cock the pilots' <laughs> chambers. <laughs> like he has a the, bed shit the in the there. Fuck, the flying champagne room. <laughs> <laughs> the pilots' chambers. God, you've you've just. Happened upon me while I'm not wearing any pants and stroking this cat. It's a Persian. I, I have changed it. That is now the technical term for the cockpit, the pilot's chambers. <laughs> Can I see the pilot? No, he's in his chambers. What is he? Right, so he, he, his job is to go into the cockpit and just hold a gun at the pilot's head. Yeah. And I have to mention this, that he goes in there and the pilots are dressed like pilots. <laughs> They're not terrorists or whatever. They're like, God damn it, I didn't go to flight school to dress like a hobo or a mercenary. They've a goddamn got, pilot. They they look like Sully. <laughs> yeah, they're they're in whites. They got stripes. We're professionals, it says God damn it. Delta on their sleeve. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're a terrorist doesn't mean these skies have to be unfriendly. Well, and it's a two man jobber to get the uh the baby out of there. So that's why Owen Shaw's in the the pilot chambers because he has to <laughs> he has to swipe the card. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. To unlock, at the, yeah, the at the baby. same time, the that Jason Statham does the baby's chambers. Yeah, so like who's watching that fucking kid? I, they just put him in a cage in there, and they were like, "Well, it's not like he's gonna fucking I, run off." I kind of thought the wildling from Game of Thrones was just holding him the whole time, but he's down on the ground with with uh, yeah. Dom. So I don't know. I guess that baby's just hanging out. He's lucky that these English guys showed up. What happens if the plane does a barrel roll and nobody's hanging on to the baby? They bad things. Bad things. Uh, so Deckard's like, all right, I'm going to go get that baby. And he gets it. And uh, he starts kicking ass with this fucking baby. Like He's like, Dom, package secure. You can start kicking ass. Dom's like, okay, cool. It's about time, bro. Beats the shit out of fucking wildling guy. He, and it's not a long fight. He picks him up, slams him on the car, and then all but punches his head off. It appears that his head has been removed from his body and is only being held onto by skin. Yes, he breaks his neck by punching his head. And it, a clean break. I clean. actually really wanted his head to come off. I am very surprised that his head didn't come off. I was like, the only place that you have left to go with Super Dominic Toretto is punching a man's head off. And I was like, well, we... We, we, we pretty much it. did. We, he did. We pretty he, much did. He no, punched go the all man's the way. head off. Punch his head off. It needed to come all the way off. Yeah. Um, even e- even if you don't like want to show icky stuff, you can cut away and hear, hear a thump on the snow, and then the audience can infer. Very easy to do. Yes. You're like, thump, thump, thump. And then he picks it up. Heads up. Yeah. Four down, pun. Heads up, seven up. You lost... Oh, yeah. that's a, I haven't heard that one. You, yeah. Well, at least I'm taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> Found you a new place to sit on your own head. <laughs> butt face. You're a total butt head. <laughs> butt face. Just rubbing his own face in his butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> I have a world to save, and I'm not. I'm rubbing your own face in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been bros, but you're way too hairy. You're too hairy. Look at that butt face. <laughs> 
So up on the plane, Deckard Shaw is just going. He's holding a baby carriage and shooting guys left and right and checking in on the baby like, how you doing, little baby? And the baby's like, I'm having a blast. Mm -hmm. This is the best ever. He's got little earphones on. Mm -hmm. Like they thought of everything. He gave him little earphones and he's playing music for him. Yep. Like kid friendly music. The Chipmunks. Yeah. Yeah. The Chipmunks Christmas song. Uh Uh-huh. And I mean, you know, you would think, okay, there's a baby in this scene. Right. It's not going to be that fucking awesome. It's not going to be that awesome. And if it's too awesome, I'm going to be a little offended because there's a baby at stake. Mm -hmm. You can't fight with the baby. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. This was like. It was so much fun. I I, I mean, Justin, if we ever have kids. Do not do this. (laughs) No, we got to take some training so that if if we're in a situation, we have a bulletproof baby carriage thing and. The Jason Statham. Yeah. <laughs> the Jason, Jason Statham, Statham. Yeah. moves. This was so fucking badass. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And I would have never thought that my favorite bad movie baby moment w- from uh, Double Team with uh, Rodman and Jean-Claude Van Damme yeah. when, uh, what the hell's the guy's name? The bat- Rourke. Mm-hmm. Grenade baby. Yep. How are you going to top grenade baby? Oh, well, you go. you go to Statham and the karate baby. That's... And I'm still not convinced that this isn't Hobbs. It's either Hobbs or Dom's kid. I, I Because this baby fucking loves violence. Oh, yes. Yeah. He is thrilled with this. Mm-hmm. This has got to be fun, baby. Yeah. You're right. This is fun. I'm probably going to kill a lot of people when I'm an adult. And then he really singles I'm one guy. I kill a bunch of people now. Yeah, he like singles one guy out. Like one guy shoots. He's like, yeah, we're going to shoot a baby. And then he just like beats the guy's face to a pulp. He's like, like you don't want to see this. And he turns the baby away because yeah. he's he doesn't want him to see anything bad. All right. And I, I'm with you, Sam. I love this this part. Yeah. It was very reminiscent of the, everybody's favorite part of the Avengers where the Hulk just beats the shit out of Loki. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. It's hilarious. Um, down on the ground though, they've got the nukes. She can't launch nukes. She's fucking pissed. So, but she's still got that sub, and she could get it out into open water. Mm-hmm. So they have to block her off in like this inlet thing. Well, uh, because of the war, what they ended up doing is that they have. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no, go on. no. Like, okay, so in Europe, because of the the world wars. They've actually got this netting stuff that comes down and it'll stop a submarine from being able to leave the harbor or enter the harbor. That way they can control the flow in and out of the inlet so that it protects their submarine bases. So what they're trying to do is essentially get that net up. You know I understand what they're doing. Your backstory, though, is ludicrous. I, you know no, it's <laughs> not. I, I'm on board. They, Fuck you. They To keep their boat their submarine in good condition they've got a net in their harbor no it stops the enemy from entering the inlet why would the why would the enemy need to enter the inlet to attack your submarine no yeah, just fucking there, there's a fucking psh, sub base there it's a nuclear submarine psh. either way there's a gate you you can fucking blow up that submarine from using a battleship docked wherever the fuck you want we've got Cruise missiles, for Christ's sake. They don't get submarines underwater. Who doesn't get submarines? Cruise missiles? Yeah. No, you just dock a fucking battleship outside of the inlet. And then the submarines pew, shoot pew, it. Pew, You're pew. fucked. No, it's trapped in the fucking inlet. Oh, no, who knows? There's any, there's a gate to the goddamn submarine. There's a gate to the fucking thing. Gary, did you leave the gate open? Of course not. Oops. It's trapped in here. Uh, so now she's got one card left kill all the fast people Mm -hmm. so she chases after them with the submarine and they're like holy shit they got russian guys with rocket launchers chasing them now the russian guys are not a threat because she's got a fucking submarine she's gonna run them over tyrese gets underwater tyrese goes gets cold has to he would have fucking died oh (laughs) well i don't know he wasn't well yeah he would have died i don't know if it would be from the water because he wasn't under there for very long Probably by getting pulled out of the car very Ooh, violently. Yeah. Lamborghini's doors are bulletproof. True. Uh, he decides to be badass for like 10 seconds. Yep. Then and he does it well. Turns back into 145 pounds of fucking mouth. Yep. Which is, you know, Great. I, I am now 
with him after the, they really sort of gave him more comedy than they have mm-hmm. in a while. And I was like, you know what? Good job. No, he's, he's fantastic. In yeah. this one. So Dom's now free. He's yes. part of the team. And they're like, yeah, it's Dom. Woohoo! Baby's free. Jason's got the plane secured. Uh, she bails out yep. of the plane. And you're like, oh, shit, she's going to be the bad guy she's more. Not, no, maybe she's going to land at Dom's feet and he's going to punch her head off. You would hope so. But it, I immediately when she got out, I was like, God damn it. She's really the bad guy. Oh, man. And. But this crew, this uh, submarine is still coming hot. They got to do something yes. about the submarine. It's launched a heat seeking missile at yeah. Dom. There's it like at the beginning, you're like, okay, yeah, they really don't know how the submarines work. And it's just like more not how submarines work yep. constantly. Because one, they don't 20. That's about as fast as they go. Right. But this one just has like a very reminiscent of the Millennium Falcon's. Uh, mm-hmm turbo laser at the bottom right it uh just pops up pops up homing Ooh. missile just, we just have one of these and it's, it's big it, it's uh, a big ass homing missile big ass homing we missile. went for the extra large here yeah. yeah uh and it's chasing dom but he's fucking fast and he circles around he's ditching it and shredding it get some gnar in the mountains in his car yeah doing a little heel clicker where he jumps over shit and uh he runs right at the fucking sub jumps in front of it, essentially, right in time for the heated missile to hit it and explode the whole sub. Making the whole gate thing pointless. Making it completely pointless. Also exploding all of the ice that cracks. Dom goes into the water, cool. sinks to the bottom, and is a Dom sickle now. Mm-hmm. Movie over. Sorry, guys. He's okay. He's a superpower. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's right. Uh, he he can he fuses the ice back together from the explosion that he's standing right next yeah. to. He probably would have been able to just sort of walk through the explosion, mm-hmm. but they didn't want to see him naked. Oh, that's true. So it they pulled all the cars around. Like I know that you like those pants, <laughs> um, so we'll save them for you. Nice pants. And then they're happy again. Yeah, they save him by parking. In, in front, front of him, of him so yes. he doesn't get exploded. Mm-hmm. But, and but they're all good. They're fine. Yeah. These are fireproof cars. Yeah. Uh, we also forgot to mention that the rock at one point figure skates outside of the car at ninety and throws a torpedo at a jeep. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. That was so stupid. Um, mission successful. Well, let's head back to town, guys. They have their typical barbecue. It's all about family. Got some Coronas. Apparently a huge bowl of macaroni. There's always a bowl of macaroni. Dom uh, is like, hey, everybody. My baby. This is yep. my bald bro baby. Stay Brian. there. Oh, dude, you blew it for me. It's bald bro, bro baby Brian. The triple Bs. It's the quadruple Bs. Jesus Christ. But at the baby, same time. The bald baby bald bro Brian. You're like, Statham's there. The Rock's there. Toretta's there. Uh-huh. Toretta's talking to Statham about moms. Like, moms, yep, awesome. Yeah. And then this just in, all time high in the bald guy bro oh, stock it, market. It, every, all the bald bros are together. Get your money out of gold right now. Go to the go to the bro bro bald bro bowl. It's when you turn on the news, the financial report, and it's got the thermometer exploding. Uh-huh. That's what's happening right, right now with bald guy bro stock. <laughs> What a comeback from the low mar- yeah. point. That's why you don't take your money out. You got to ride the wave. Yeah, Everything's good, except Cypher's still out there someplace. Yeah. So she's going to be back. I suppose. Sam, let's start with you for questions. I'll start with the easy one. So Dom just has houses everywhere. Yeah, I think so. Because this is his house in New York, I guess? Yeah, on top of a building. Because he lives in, doesn't he live in like uh, Garden Grove or something like that? I don't know. I like, he they was over in that. LA, in, yeah. in like LA or something. Yeah, so he lives in the valley somewhere, right? And but they blew that house up. Yeah, I that guess. exploded, right? Uh, he's also got where he where he takes the phone call from Hobbs. He's by himself at just some nondescript place in Havana. Liddy's not there, so it's not their fucking romance suite. It the honeymoon looks like a hotel room to begin he's with. It looks like a condo. He's just someplace. He's just got these places all yeah, over. I guess he's rich as shit, so why not? Yeah, why not? Jackson? My turn. How do you think that conversation went about the illegitimate kid? 
So she's dead. She's no uh, longer competition. Right. Uh, but there is this baby. Um, you saw the conversation. I have no choice but to le- believe that that's the first time Letty's even heard about a baby. Yeah. Just, hey, just see, check this thing out. She's like, cool. I don't have to have one now. He's bald. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. What's his name? Brian. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love this franchise. Uh, my question, would you want Tom to be your dad? Yes. Really? No. As a girl? Yeah. Eh. Oh, yeah. I guess as a girl, man, anybody that breaks up with you. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. As a girl, fucking kick ass, dad. Likely going to get your head punched off. But he's yeah. going to buy you a fast fucking car. You would get have a nice car. Get a sweet car. Even, uh, boy or girl, you're going to have a nice car. Yeah, you're getting a charger in high school. Um, but you're, there's always that prospect that somebody's going to kidnap you and try to kill you. Well, you would be a fucking, you're Dom's kid. You're probably bulletproof. You're probably uh, a little bit of a badass yourself. No. Cause he's probably some taught you some shit. Yeah. You get that superhero passed down. You even have your own unique powers. You drop 40 horsepower in your diapers. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Fuck that. You're yeah. I want Dom to be my dad. Okay. All right. Yeah. Dom's a good dad. Uh, is Owen Shaw still in the plane? I, <laughs> oh, that was one of my questions. What the hell happened to the brother? I think Owen Shaw's just flying around. They yeah. now have a fucking plane with unlimited yeah. gasoline in it. He's like, you guys are just regular pilots? Like, yeah. He's like, You guys want to keep piloting? Hey. Of course. Sure. That's what we live for. Look at us. We're dressed like pirates. Pilots. Uh, pirates, huh? I've, I really drank a lot yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think, they, I think that's what's happening, Sam, which ties in perfectly with my next question. Who's in the next movie? Give me the cast, guys. To be honest, with the way they treated Owen Shaw, I don't think he's making the cut. I don't know, man. This plane theory, them having a fucking superpowered plane that's that's got the mind's eye in it is pretty handy. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure Cypher's coming in, and I think they're going to flip her because she really doesn't do that much evil stuff. I don't know. She's going to have to work for them. Well... We've got this plane, but you're the only one that knows how to work the bullshit inside well, of it. Well, here's a question. Would you rather they flip her, or would you rather she just stays the bad guy for the next two movies? I would rather have uh, that she doesn't come back, and it yeah. turns out they, like, what What happened to Cypher? She made it. Uh, her chute didn't open. It she, was actually her lunch. She Yeah, it was her lunch. She pulled the string, sandwich and bananas, <laughs> and an apple came out. Uh, she hit, like, a ton of bricks. She pulled Not- the string, and a fucking piano came out. Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened, but it landed right on top of her. Ugh. It's a mess. Yuck. Russia is still trying to I clean up know. Cypher. Strawberry jam. <laughs> With hair. That's what oh. I want to happen. All right, who else? Who else we got? Uh, Statham coming back? I think everybody's coming back. You think The Rock's coming back? I don't. He turns down a job at the end of the movie to but be he can't action turn guy. Down Dom. It's true. It's all about family. Yeah. Yeah. He turns down going back to the agency. And I, I believe that the only thing I know contractually mm-hmm. is that, uh, the rocks contract. The Rock and Vin Diesel <laughs> are the only contractually obligated for all three. Okay. Well. Ludacris and Tyrese are like, can we please get in on that contracted stuff? Yeah, exactly. It sounds nice having uh, a future. Well, I think that's where, <laughs> you know, that's how Vin Diesel wields his power is like, fly right. Gas is, doesn't have a job anymore at all. I think Helen Mirren makes another guest appearance. Yeah, I think one. Helen Mirren yeah. will be back too. See, I'm actually kind of wondering with the whole Statham thing, if they could bring any of it back. But I would I would expect to see everyone back except Owen Shaw because he's still on the plane. I think he's coming back. Yeah, I'd like it. I'd... I think it would be good too. Yeah, he's that guy doesn't have much of a career. He's not doing much else either. So why not? Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of a weird question, but the new, uh, the newbie guy, the uh... Uh, he's not coming back. Scott Eastwood is not going yes. to. Oh, and you know who else isn't coming back? I don't think Kurt Russell is. I I think they're don't both really um, Go ahead, Kurt Russell back. I and that was kind of where I was going with this. Is that is he the new Brian? Because at the end of that movie, yeah, I mean, one, they dressed him like Paul Walker. Right, right. He, you know, he had the exact same outfits as Paul Walker. It's like, well, we have these clothes. You put these on. Here's the thing. And though, then two, he was sitting at the table with the family. Yeah. At the end, like he's part of them now. I don't think he is. I just don't think he is. Not because they tried to make him Paul Walker. I don't think. I don't think anybody watches that and is like, yeah, that was a good fit. 
I yeah. think he's out. Yeah, I think that they tested out Shitty Brian and it didn't work. It so didn't work. He's gone. Yeah. My final question. Mm-hmm. What if it's not his baby? <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if it's the Rock's baby. What if it's nobody's Or Greg's baby? It's Greg's baby. Um It's like, oh, that'll be funny in ten years. Wow, that really we looks almost nothing like me. Um should we call should we call Jerry Springer? Should we like you are not the father? Can we take that risk? Maury? No, it's Jerry Springer that says you are not the father. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. That would certainly suck. <laughs> no, I think that that's his kid. I don't think they're going to do anything weird no, with that. No, they're not going to do anything. Uh, do you think Dom could beat up... Uh, let's let's put it this way. Instead of saying, could Dom beat up X from the Marvel Universe, who couldn't Dom beat so, up? So, where I'm putting him at this point mm-hmm. is he's a tier underneath Thor, Iron Man, and Cap. He's not... An elite oh, you Avenger. don't think he could beat up Captain America? No. I think he could beat up Captain no, America. I no. Think Cap's a better fighter. Yeah. But I don't mm. think that he... I do think he could beat up Tony Stark. Oh, yeah, Tony Stark, but not Iron not Man. Not Iron Man. Yeah, not Iron Man. Or Thor. Or Thor. But I just... What like, about that's, the Hulk? You think he could take down the Hulk? No. No. Okay. I think that he would uh, survive the Hulk. Yeah. I think that he would give the Black Widow uh, a proper spanking. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. I think that Ooh. what happens with the Black Widow is that bowl of keys again. Yep. <laughs> uh, or she just moves in. Yeah. No, this guy is the ticket. He knows all of the cultures of the world. How can I not live with him and his wife and his baby? Like, he becomes David Koresh. He just has all the wives and a compound. Yeah. And at some point, the ATF's coming for him. And even if you go to relate him to DC, at this point, his exploits are basically that of Batman. So uh, I think he can take down Batman. Yeah. He's, he's rich. Because Batman's tough. one real thing that he can do is gadgets, and uh, Dom's got those. He's got those. Uh, he's got a fast car. Rich. Batman's got a fast car. He doesn't need a plane because no. he's got a fast car. And Batman's the ultimate planner. Yeah. And I think Dom's an even better ultimate and he is planner. A, and here's why Dom is a little tougher than Batman, because he doesn't have to hide. Doesn't have to hide. Yeah, absolutely. Um, There you go. My last question. Anybody else got a question? No, I'm good. My last one. All right. This is a, this should be an easy one. Uh, I think Jack, we know Jackie's. Who's your favorite person in this film? Hmm. Well, I really like Vin Diesel. So I just always like when Vin Diesel's in a movie. Mm-hmm. He's always, Dominic Toretto is always my favorite in all of these movies. Yeah, but Dominic, Dom takes a little bit of a backseat for a while in this film. It does. With the fun s- stuff. Uh, my favorite with Jason Statham. I thought you were going to say Dame Helen Mirren. Well, she's not. She's she, not. She's barely in the movie. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a guest appearance. Is, right. If we're talking about guest appearances, yeah. because I also consider Kurt Russell to be guest appearances. Yeah, he's not because he's not really he's in the in movie. The movie. Too much. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, out of those two, it's Helen Mirren all the way. But as of somebody who's actually part of the entire movie, it's Jason Statham. Yeah, I like Statham a lot, man. Dude, I just like watching that guy do Jason Statham stuff. His yeah. fights. He's, business his stunts are fucking fantastic yeah he's fucking incredible yeah, like he's awesome i don't even know how old he is 120 it doesn't matter yeah, yeah but i know he's got i think he's older than we are i know two things he's bald and he's a bro yes yeah he's and he's bald. got a fun accent yeah no he's great and the thing the shit that that man can do mm-hmm. i'm like eh. he's the white jackie chan even yeah. though he's not even in the same discussion no. as jackie chan but that's the style of just fun but you look at him and you think you're kind of getting older how can you possibly still be fucking doing this shit flipping all over the place you crazy bastard yeah Yeah. and he's just fucking awesome yeah he's sort of coming into his own and because he's staying so high in box office at his age it's like he did what seagal and van damme couldn't do at Mm -hmm. this point right yeah he's past that and still going Yeah. yeah Well, you know, he takes, you can tell he takes really good care of himself. He's a better actor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that also helps. Yeah. Not getting fat. <laughs> also not moving in with Putin. So there's that. Yeah. There was uh, a lot of cocaine with Van Damme. Yeah. Sam, so you're sticking with uh, Vin Diesel? Yeah, I will also, I will, amend, I, I stick with Vin Diesel. And I think, however, I should mention that the new gal from Game of Thrones Natalie Emmanuel is super hot. 
Yeah, you really like her. Uh, a lot of people really like, like her. I uh, I also liked at the end when the movie called you out for it. It was like, what's my last name? And they're like, I don't know. And I was like, neither do I. Yep. And oh, son of a bitch. Nice. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go with The Rock. We'll just trifecta the bald bros sure, here. Yeah. Um, dude, I fucking love The Rock. All right, kiss my ass, anybody else. That guy's fucking rules. He rules. I will watch any movie he's in and like it, except for San Andreas and Doom. Those movies stink. But, I'm excited uh, for his Baywatch so movie that's coming up. Yeah, yeah. Baywatch I, will probably be an episode. Yeah, I'm thinking bad movie field trip for sure. Only, I mean, there's there's only one place to go with that, and it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait. Yep. And on Baywatch. I'm in on this shit. I highly recommend this movie. Yeah. Kiss my ass if you're like, uh, you know what? It's not as artistically perfect as the other ones. Yeah. What the oh, fuck what were the you watching? F- fuck did you see? Yeah, have dude. You, some asshole said it's the weakest one. I was like, have you seen the second one? Dude. Have you honestly, seen the second one? Well, it's- Tokyo Drift wasn't included in my pack that I bought on Amazon. No, yeah. I, I only saw seven and eight. No. Fuck. You're a fucking asshole, dude. Yeah. No. You're a dick bag. All these, these movies, movies are, are stupid. Yeah, they're meant to be stupid. They're meant to be ridiculous. And the stunts and stuff are, me- are meant to make a grown ass man stand up in the theater and mm-hmm. say, fuck. Yep, yep, that is indeed correct. And Go it watch did. this movie. Don't be judgy to make Judgerson. All of these movies are stupid. This one's no exception, and it's just as good as the rest. Yep. So there you go. Next up uh, is, are we sticking with my pick? Yeah, the field trips don't count for anybody's pick, so you're up next. Okay, my next pick is uh, Shark Attack 3. Shark Attack let's, 3. Let's some pe- see some people get eaten by a flying shark. Uh, get to the chopper. Visit us at www.stinkermadness.com. Follow Stinker Madness on Twitter at Stinker Madness. Please rate and review us on iTunes and Stitcher. Thank you for listening and get to the chopper. It's not for sale, Francis.